China's latest COVID-19 outbreak is now its most widespread since the virus was first detected in Wuhan nearly two years ago. Infection numbers continue to swell despite increasingly tough action. There are more than 600 local cases in nearly 20 provinces and regions. Close to 100 infections have been detected in the past 24 hours, the highest in three months. Sweeping lockdowns and mass testing have been imposed as China works to stamp out the virus. That's especially in the capital Beijing, which is set to hold key events in the coming weeks and months. Olivia Xiong reports. The resurgence of the COVID-19 virus comes at an inconvenient time for China's leadership. Over 300 Communist Party members from its top central committee are set together in Beijing from Monday for a key meeting, the sixth and final plenum of their five-year term before an all-important twice-a-decade party congress next year. The Winter Olympics is also set to take place in the Chinese capital and neighboring Jiangxiakou in Hebei province in about three months. Chinese health experts quoted in the Communist Party-linked Global Times, said this wave of cases is more complicated than the last major outbreak in August, as it has multiple sources, has spread widely across the country, and comes as the country enters the winter months. But they also cautioned that China cannot abandon its zero-tolerance approach, in spite of what it says has been attacks in the Western media. Though they added that China will carefully evaluate the conditions for changing its policies, including evaluating the situation in other countries that have opened their borders. The number of COVID-19 cases in China is relatively low compared to other countries, which have shifted to a strategy of living with the virus. This has meant that authorities have imposed strict containment measures, especially in Beijing. More than half of the flights into and out of Beijing's two airports were cancelled on Tuesday, and residents have been told repeatedly not to travel out of the capital. Local media also reported students of a primary school being held on campus for hours after a staff member tested positive for the virus. Many have also been placed under home quarantine, something that I too had experienced after returning to Beijing from a work trip to an area that was treated as medium risk. Resources mobilized to conduct at-home COVID-19 tests and environmental swabs with even a sensor installed on my door. Measures are expected to get tighter and authorities have asked families to stock up on daily necessities to ensure they don't get caught off guard in case of a lockdown in their area. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.